Hello, my name is Brian. I'm with the Metroline Driving Academy here in North Carolina. Uh, thank you for watching the previous two parts of how I started driving school. Today we're going to discuss um, more about contracts and things that you can get maybe from a school or a charter school or homeschool organization that can help with cash flow throughout you know, the dry seasons and stuff like that. Uh, this video is, is uh, will help walk you through some of the steps that would take. Um, I personally have I've been blessed to have a few schools uh, contact me. Um, this day and age, a lot of times, uh, convenience means more to the student and to the parent than really cost or anything like that. Unfortunately, we live in a very convenient society. Um, so what I've been able to do, I've been able to reach out to schools in my local area. Uh, we have public schools, we have private schools, we have um, uh, charter schools, you know, all different types of uh, forms of education here at our local area. Um, with that said, you, you have to kind of find a niche. There's, uh, first of all, if you really want to start slow and try to try to get like one school at a time and kind of get the idea of what they they have different class schedules they have different account cal school calendars um, things like that you kind of have to work around those uh, particular requests that they have uh, kind of give you an example in one of my schools uh, it turned out to be a really nice school to uh, a lot of business a lot of referrals uh, easy to work with, uh, excited that I was there providing them the service that they otherwise that the students would have to uh, go elsewhere and by me offering a convenience factor of having driver's ed at their school uh, really was a huge benefit and it was definitely uh, this is my fourth year in business I think I've been with this school for three years um, and it's been a really nice business partnership. Um, they know what to expect out of me after three years. I can kind of anticipate uh, their thoughts and each school year uh, I present them with, uh, I usually do on schools kind of get an idea. I usually do one class in the fall semester and one class in the spring and then if I can work it in most of the time I do one class in the summer, you know, summertime when they're out of school. And so it kind of works out three school, three classes. Uh, you can build up revenue that way. Um, <clears throat> the class size has really grown. I think we first time, first class back three years ago, maybe was 12 students, which is not a bad class. Um, but you know, he obviously won't bigger, but truthfully, I was wanting to see, I didn't want a lot of students at first because I didn't want, I wanted to see how they operated, what was expected of me, what I expected of the students and the parents. So it's really 12, 15 ish is a good number to kind of get a taste. Then the second uh, class that I had, I think it jumped up to 25, word got out. You know, students started seeing their friends go through my driving school, and so they wanted to join up the next session. And then my summer session, I got to 35. And that was, at that time, the first year. That's not bad, considering I only had three classes with the school. The school size um, was around, so I think, I think they capped out at 125 per grade level, 9 through 12. And so it wasn't a huge school, but it wasn't necessarily a, a real small school as well. There's nothing wrong with small schools. I have a few small schools as well. Uh, actually, they're, in my opinion, just as easy and just as, as fun to, to have uh, on board with you as the larger schools. Um, so anyway, and then last year, um, I think I capped out at March of last year, maybe, I don't remember exactly if it was the spring, I think yeah, it was spring uh, session in March, I think it was, or April 1, uh, I capped out at like 42 students. So 
as you can see I went from 12 maybe to 42 in a very short time in a very very short time and so that's an avenue to go with I've since then I picked up three or four or five schools uh, since then you know my words gotten words gotten out in the charter school community now uh, which is a big plus for me as, as you can imagine financially uh, I'm doing a little bit better because I have these filler schools uh, I try to schedule the schools you know where I have a school you know within a month or two of each other that way I have the cash flow continuing flowing um, whereas I don't do it all every week or anything like that I do it once every quarter every sem uh, semester um, but maybe one class I may do in February at one school and then the next class March and then the next class April or May and then by the time I get done with those three schools it's time for the first school to start uh, going uh, for their summer session and then later on the summer the second school and the third school and so forth and then plus I have my own classroom locally that I have I host different schools from without you know four five six area uh, um, county community that people come to me uh, on their own and so that's obviously a lot of fun uh, different schools different environments learn different things about different schools which is, is pretty neat um, so that's how you build rapport anytime also too at these schools what I like to try to do is uh, maybe do some advertisement at that school to kind of give back to the school whether it's a yearbook ad matter of fact one of the schools I'm doing a yearbook ad uh, maybe it's a banner in the gym a few hundred dollars um, stuff like that to where you kind of support each other and not only that if you got community um, uh, 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 charter school type community school and they see you know the basketball game volleyball game or, or graduation or whatever they see your banner hanging you support their school they're going to support you as well uh, especially throughout the local community uh, there's away here in North Carolina some counties getting off the kind of the charter school small school type thing um, where you can bid on large counties here in North Carolina it, uh, some counties um, that they will offer driver's ed the teachers will teach it or they'll hire staff and um, they'll they'll um, do it kind of in-house and then there's some counties that uh, subcontract these uh, services out and I have been a part of a few bidding wars so to speak uh, right now I haven't won a big county but I am building and building and building uh, hopefully soon that you know I'll, I'll get land a big county um, big county means big money but it also means a lot of expense uh, you can imagine um, the expense level with a, a larger county so you kind of have to weigh the options and 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 stuff um, but the the charter school is a good way to uh, kind of get your feet wet and kind of you know start out slow and this is not a get rich quick type of uh, course this is not a get rich quick type of business uh, if people say that, that they don't know what they're talking about uh, you do have some expense with this business as I mentioned prior video as far as um, you know all the hoops we have to jump through as far as requirements and physicals and criminal records and things like that as I mentioned earlier uh, so there is a good bit of expense uh, charter schools might be a way for you private schools bigger private schools there's some locally bigger private schools I'm actually I've got two two I think or three I'm working on the third actually um, third pri uh, private school as well um, so it, it, that could be the same kind of thing trying to get focused once you get one school and get one year under your belt uh, then you feel obviously more confident in your teaching 
what you're teaching, how how the school the charter school works, or private school system, or public school, whatever it is that you uh, embark in, a homeschool association that may be a ticket. Uh, there's one uh, here in North Carolina, um, a few hundred miles from here, uh, not too far, maybe about four hours, maybe that I know for a fact uh, has 6,700 families in the homeschool association so you can imagine you know how many families need driver's ed out of that so if you got in with the homeschool association in your local community maybe that would be a, a nice little profit making for you so there's a little different avenues you can take um, of course your regular advertisement as I mentioned previous videos word-of-mouth advertisement is still your best option um, more confident you get the better off you you are the more confidence you have in yourself and your ability to sell and I, I'm not saying sell like is it hurry up and buy hurry up and buy but put it out there you you know if you buy purchase a, a team driving package from me then I'm confident I've got experience and that the the parent knows or the school system depending on if you're doing a charter school or a walk-in customer or whatever the parent or the school system knows that this person knows what they're talking about knows it has been uh, on the job training for some time and uh, build up my clientele uh, I've already surpassed what I've done in 2019 um, hopefully you know, soon uh, I'll you know, make a new new video kind of sharing you with with you kind of my steps even more so um, but anyway community schools um, charter schools uh, private schools Christian schools public schools that you know homeschool association as I just mentioned those things to check into now you may be be in a bidding war with some people two or three people so don't don't sacrifice quality in the price okay so make sure you give a good good quality with the price uh, it may not be the price you're looking for at first um, then you can gradually go up as as they become more and more confident in you um, but really to be honest with you um, the way a parent sees it uh, if they have two kids they only have to worry about driver's ed twice here in North Carolina some states don't offer driver's ed um, so I, I'm not sure how that works but here in North Carolina if if I've got two students two, two children that are high school age um, that need driver's ed you know I may spend a good bit more because I only have to do it once for one student and once for the other it's just not like a sports where you know your student may play high school athletics basketball let's just say for instance um, for four years in a row so that's four years recouping your expense I mean you know with your expense and you may not spend as much as in their freshman year as you do their senior year because you know but here at driver's ed you know it was well, a one-time thing uh, I'll be finishing up students tomorrow I think which is um, we're in still in late September at the recording uh, at the recording of this video, um, so I'm finishing up them, and their parents will never have to worry about driver's ed here in North Carolina ever again, because they're um, a single uh, not single parents but a single uh, child, and so they're done, and so it's not they're not going to nitpick uh, every single. You know, thing you do they're they're not going to be so worried about it because they know this is a one-time shot they're done with it you know if they've got four or five kids obviously that might be a different thing or if they got twins or something I've had twins um, you can work sometimes with the price with that uh, the one thing with twins you know they've got their own sets of friends that may need your services so if you do a, a do a a great job with the twins and you know, family with the twins 
then who's to say that you may not get you may get four, five, six more customers just because you had a set of twins sitting in your classroom. So it kind of kind of uh, snowballs in the right direction, going downhill, gets bigger, bigger, and bigger. So that's this is all for this video. I hope you like it. Make sure you like at the bottom. Uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, Metro Line Driving. Uh, I hope to be on uh, 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 do videos a little bit more often. And thank you very much.